Hello everyone, and welcome to Castle Dunsinane. As you can see, it's over there. <laughs> right over there. And me and my friend Frank worked on this for, I don't know, two hours maybe. Just to get it done. It wasn't too bad. And um, you see the large tower, to which accommodates the eerie feeling that I would you would get in a dark ages large crenellations on the sides where archers would stand behind and they would shoot at invading enemies and such um, it is made of stone brick just like in real life I wanted it to be accurate um, let's get a little quick one more quick turn around it so we can get a good look at it. It's built on the edge of a cliff just like in the Hugh Hefner interpretation. Alright then. Let's go take a tour. Entering there's a wide archway as you can see and my interpretation of a drawbridge-esque um, gateway. To the left you'll see a forge for where blacksmiths could work and this was an essential part of the uh, manor lifestyle in the medieval times. There's a butcher's stall where they sold chicken, steak, and pork and such which would also be a very good thing to have in any castle. There's a large fountain as a centerpiece to draw the attention and to finish it off. Now let's go take an inside look. Now there's a large spiral staircase that we are climbing right now, or attempting to at least. Up to Duncan's quarters. This is where King Duncan would have been sleeping before he was brutally murdered by Macbeth. And this is his room he would have stayed in. And so yeah, he would have been sleeping here, Beth would have murdered him, and then he would have proceeded on, you know, blaming the guards and such. Now we're going to head to the banquet room, or the dining hall, as I like to call it, um, where... Banquo's uh, banquet was held and this is a really interesting room because it has cross hatched roofs which I really like it's a really nice style um, this is where they would have sat and such where all the guests would have sat Banquo's ghost would have been over here somewhere and this is the uh, Scottish flag in honor of Scotland um, or at least it's as good as it's going to get in Minecraft. Um, this is a large window where the guests could see out and look at the ocean and such. Which is really interesting. It's very pretty. Um, now we'll head back up. And we'll get another look around because that's pretty much it. And look at the sun's rising. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Now the clouds are in the way because it's very tall, very high up. It's very large. It has this eerie feeling to it at night, which I'm sure Macbeth would have been proud of since he's an evil man. And that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, Thanks everyone for watching.